I'll show you how to get rid of this PHP executable not found error message. So for me, it says to install PHP 7 and add it to your path and set the executable path setting location. Now I have PHP installed under a local web server using an XAMPP installation. So the key takeaway for this is you need to have PHP actually installed on your computer in one way or another, whether or not you just have PHP installed or if you have a local web server completely set up like uh, most people probably do. So I'm using the XAMPP local web server. So in order to get rid of this error message, we actually need to browse over to our XAMPP installation directory or wherever you have PHP installed. Most likely if you're on Windows, it's gonna be your C drive, the XAMPP folder, and then the PHP folder. And then for the actual file we're looking for is this php.exe file. So we need to get the location of that file itself. So you just want to copy that directory. So C XAMPP PHP. Then we need to save this into our computer's path settings. So in order to add this new path, we want to right click on this PC or my computer, depending on where you're looking. Got to right click on that and you want to go to properties. Once your properties have loaded up, you want to click on the advanced system settings link over there on the left hand column. Uh, you will need administrative access for this. So if you don't have it, you're going to need to talk to your system administrator. Go ahead and click on that. And then we want to click on the environment variables button. So we're actually going to add a new environment variable specifically to update our path environment variable. So we want to double click on path and then you want to click the new button and then you just want to copy right in the PHP installation directory. Like I said, in my case, it's the C drive, the XAMPP folder, then PHP. You want to go ahead and click OK on each of these different windows to close them all out. You can close out of the settings as well. Now, if you go ahead and close the Visual Studio code, you can see our error is still there. You want to close it and then go ahead and reopen. And then boom, look at that. Didn't get any PHP error messages popping up. 